Muliro, I mean, we have these this provisions in law. In as much as that is not the best strategy, we have them. We have um, institutions that are supposed to be following up to ensure that we are there, like when it comes to matters integrity. I mean, w w what loopholes are there to allow that, can, that are exploited to allow these political bad manners to continue close to 12 years down the line, for instance, when it comes to the 2010 Constitution? 12 years down the line, implementation of Chapter 6 of the Constitution is still proving to be a hard nut to crack. What is it that is the problem? What are we not doing right? Who is not doing what? I think uh, he has captured one thing. You know, we have beautiful, we have like, uh, it's a leap. Mm. We, we jump to somewhere and we have all those designs, exactly what he has described, what you can find in a first class developed country, the rules and everything. But we, the people ourselves, our, our culture, our mosaic, our system of understanding who is a leader, is it in that format? So this one will bring me to where the loopholes lie. Mm -hmm. Is that um, uh, one of them is uh, the people that we have, uh, you know, uh, I was listening to him and was saying, who will let the the villager at home there in my place know mm. that uh, a leader must have this and this and this and this and the Qualities. law says this and it mm. has this so that when they go to vote uh, they are informed they don't know us yeah, yeah, well, they they are I even saw political parties you are saying that very beautiful codes of conduct almost every political party you know and people are signing before they go for nominations but the games that are played uh, Safim mm -hmm. is that uh, the same people you know, I'm just going back to what the youths wrote today. The same people you are saying will should be uh, riding these uh, institutions, should be in charge of implementation and everything, are exploiting those loopholes to remain at the top. So if you refine politics, you will not be there. Most of these people will not be there if we refine mm -hmm. the current politics and follow exactly what he has mentioned. Mm -hmm. But once they are there, you see the circus in parliament, the games around even uh, two-thirds gender rule. Uh, actually, there are loopholes. I am aware, I know, of political parties that uh, did something very, and I said now, I think you are right, to police uh, human beings with the uh, legal rules. You know, even in football, you have the referee, but you'll find uh, people decided that political parties, you know, saw loopholes in these uh, laws and everything. And what they were doing is that when Chepkati returned the list and said that uh, you have not uh, uh, fulfilled the agenda. Mm -hmm. So what you do, if you're not very, yeah, maybe you are, I not mention a party, maybe you are very strong in Northeastern and you're not strong in uh, Kisumu. So look for names of uh, women, women in Kisumu, yeah. Kisumu. and they fill up. <laughs> yeah. But you know very well during the elections, Chance, even you're not slim. even, yes, yeah. they Chances are slim. Yeah. So I'm, I'm even thinking very hard, uh, please, the <laughs> monitors, well, you'll be there for a long time, my senior mm -hmm. brother. We may even, at the end of the day, you have fulfilled what uh, IBC it has said. Boxes. But after the elections, the people have decided. You'll find maybe 99% are men. So they are, they, they, I see two things. One, they are those who benefit from the loopholes, and therefore, once we put them at the leadership, their work is to make sure that it doesn't work. Because if you refine politics, most of these current leaders, sadly, will not be there. Mm -hmm. And then number two is the case of do we really, as the people, as people, uh, know all these things when mm -hmm. we are electing our leaders? Mm -hmm. So that's why I was saying when you say integrity <laughs> and elections, it's like two words are clashing because we see elections as an event. Nowadays, even it's worse. Mm -hmm. It's an event. You don't care about the person uh, you're electing whether there is anything about integrity. Mm -hmm. I think I, I like it where somebody says that we, we vote the way we do, mostly in Africa, because electoral democracy does not affect our life. Mm -hmm. I vote in my friend here, mm -hmm. he comes in, I do not know that he needs to mm -hmm. convince me mm -hmm. that he's going to do something, something about his manifesto. Mm -hmm. He comes in, he enriches himself and his family, he looks great, so he doesn't affect you, see where he's still there. So next time you go to vote, you look for a way of capitalizing on that short period, mm. it doesn't affect mm. your life. Mm. 
So those are some of the loopholes yeah. that I think are playing against this struggle to have hygiene mm -hmm. in politics. Right. And, 